Hello, I'm Thomas Marinelli. I'm working in a central sustainability team of Signify. Sustainability is very close to my heart. I started in this field for expertise in 2004, so it's now more than 19 years. Today, I will talk about circle economy. Well, circle economy is a hot topic in Europe. You will hear more about it. Europe expressed high ambitions to make all the things, all the products ready for repair. This means it should be serviceable, repairable, or even upgradable. So the products should be easily to disassemble and to be built back again. Today, I will talk with different people on three different levels of complexity about this concept of circular economy. Hey, hey. I would like to tell you something about the word circularity. Have you ever heard about circularity? No, eh? no, difficult word. But I can explain it with these blocks, with these building blocks. Okay? So, yeah. what can you do with these building blocks? Build. Yeah? Show me. Can you put something together? Something like this. Maybe something like this. Okay? Like this. Wow, looks great. Well, now for the idea, eh? This is now we built this together. Okay, we have still a few pieces, but when this is all we have, and now you want to make something new. You can break it up. Can we break it up? So let's let's break it in pieces again. Well, that's exactly what circularity is all about. Because circularity is like I can take this and now I can make something new. Eh? I can again totally make something new. I don't throw it away. Yeah. I think. You want to throw it, but you can also try to use it for something that you need. Exactly. And could you do it also something, this is now plastic, eh? But could you do it with paper and glass? What do you think? Ah, uh, paper and glass is better than plastic on the earth. Yeah. Very good. So this, this is what I want to explain to you. Circularity is all about reusing. And if we really cannot uh, use it anymore, we are going to recycle it and make something else out of the plastic. Did you understand that? Great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the talk. Hey, hi. Hello. Hello. I would like to talk today about a uh, topic, maybe you know it, circular economy. What comes to mind with circularity? For me, a circular economy is about uh, reducing the impact in the environment by reusing waste materials back into producing uh, new products from the waste materials. Okay, the concept is that you have circular economy and it's about rethinking how we produce the products, resources we use, how we consume it, and unfortunately, if, uh, often we, we dispose of it uh, in an easy way but also how we manage resources. Here we have fishing nets. It's nylon, right? This is used and it is torn apart by all the fishing actions. Guess where it is uh, ending up? This, most of the times it will end up in the ocean, unfortunately. So we thought about how can we rethink and repurpose this material, mm -hmm. right? And uh, well, one of the ways was that we started using it to make 3D printed lamps. Wow. So that's, that's a cool example. Eh? Oh, that is super great. Yeah. I really like this conversation, especially because um, I obviously was aware that um, uh, about the circular economy and how uh, there's ways to reduce our impact in the environment, but especially uh, with fishing nets because it comes home to me because I am a surfer. And in Portugal, ah. we have a lot of these problems, especially with fishing nets in the ocean. And it does really cause a lot of harm. And it's great that... Uh, that uh, we're taking that into consideration and really trying to reduce the impact on the animals and just the environment in the ocean. So yeah, it's just great that uh, we're using fishing nets to make That's beautiful nice products. That's a example, indeed. You're mm. an, uh, a sports guy uh, on the water. Oh, thank you, this was a very informative conversation. I learned a lot. Hi. Hi. Let's talk about circular economy today. Do you know something about circular economy? Circular economy, I would say maybe something around uh, reduce, reuse and recycle. Very good, very good. These are important elements of uh, circularity. Now we talked about products, but next to products, interestingly, there are also services. Uh, and famous one in lighting is light as a service. 
So probably you know the phenomena of renting a car. Yeah. Huh? Of renting an apartment. Well, imagine you are renting lights. You're not buying the bulbs, but you are in an agreement with a, uh, in a service provider for lighting. And uh, you don't have to buy it anymore. You have the agreement you will use the lights. Mm -hmm. Well, the ownership stays with the, with the service provider. So you would say, well, what's in it for me? Well, what, what you get in return is you get uh, maintenance, planned maintenance. You can also upgrade the lighting. So you are ensured that you have the, the right energy efficiency and the right quality of light at the time you need it. So you can say at the end, we, this is called lighting for circularity. And so this is about products and parts, um, which you design to be reusable, or you can refurbish them. And last but not least, really at the end of life, you can uh, recycle it. Mm -hmm. And this is all to ensure that you have the maximum value of your lighting installation in place. And how do you maximize the lifetime? Well, that's what I just told you about services. And in the services, you can agree on the maintenance and maybe also the upgrade. So this is in short, the, the concept of uh, circular economy for lighting. Yeah, I think it's super interesting and uh, yeah, definitely something to consider in the future. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs>